Good morning. It is September 17th, 2021. Um, this month is filled already, uh, if you're paying attention, with so much news, so much action, so much warfare in the spirit realm, but also in the actual, you know, arena of our of our earth. The hurricane, the Afghanistan stuff, um, the election uh, audit in Maricopa County and other places. Everything's starting to set up for a great um, breakdown of the stronghold of lies that envelops this country. And as I was driving this morning, and I mean, I've been really praying hard today. Everybody should be praying hard right now for the David and Goliath scenario to hit because the more we find out about the dark side, two things happen. Number one, it's so old and it's so uh, baked in or, or deeply enveloped into every aspect of our culture. Obviously, entertainment, media, Use uh, the right... The, uh, legal system, corporate, massive corporate structures, um, our government, local government, everywhere you turn, Continue you're going to see the hands, the evil tentacles of a satanic empire. In 1.5 miles, Sorry. turn left onto Rural Hall, Germanton Road. Okay. Um, so we see that it's so evil, the banality of evil is the phrase that's in my head. And then the other thing, you know, we're starting to just realize is that there's no way we can win in the political, judicial way. I mean, I, we've known that from the beginning, but people are trying, right? People are trying like Sidney Powell to get things done judicially, Mike Lindell trying to get things done, you know, publicly to lead to a judicial action of the Supreme Court. But in reality, we are not going to win there. I hope you understand that. Um, yesterday, I was listening to uh, somebody who was in the military above After top. After the next line, okay. turn left. Sorry about this, because this is a complicated trip to uh, a place that I don't normally go. So the directions, I let them play. Um, this military man who's retired now, he's been blown up, he's fallen 75 feet, he's blown up buildings, he's done a lot of stuff. Anyway, he admitted a lot of things to this particular investigative Turn left onto Rural Hall, Germanton Road. journalist that I have known, but he gave greater detail about 9-11, um, just, and his, and this sad, because when I was listening to him, he actually believes that it's over in a bad way. Like China, Russia, Iran, Turkey are all set in 3.6 miles to take, take a this slight left place turn onto called German America Road. over. Now, as I let that thought hit my mind, right? I want you all to think about that. Imagine being under foreign rule. I mean, we are right now under a fake administration, but Imagine that. Think about all the things that you do on a daily basis. I mean, I'm checked out of, obviously, media. I don't watch movies. But I do love baseball. And I do love watching sports. And so, college football, all that. I My, my contention has been that bread and circuses is the technique you know, the old Roman Empire technique of controlling the masses is to give them entertainment and give them food and they won't revolt. But it seems that at this point, the bad guys have chosen rather to eliminate the middle class as opposed to entertaining the middle class. And that that is going to not work out. Um, we still have guns here, and they are petrified of that, by the way. Believe me, they've been trying to get rid of people's 
the guns for a long time for a reason because then they can just come on in and people feel like they have no defense and therefore they give in to the tyranny the only thing they got is to go out in the streets and march when when a government realizes that people have guns and many guns they just don't walk up to a house and say um you know i'm asking for this person to come we have a warrant for your arrest for nothing basically just for talking or just for not doing something like the vaccine um, they can just do it. You have no resistance other than your hands. And In two miles, knife. take a slight left turn onto German Road. So, when you look at where, I just don't think it's going to work. I mean, just look at it on a chessboard. Look at it like you're just going to awaken more people if you get more draconian, which is what I believe the white hats are doing, is letting it get uglier and uglier because there is no play afterward. They want us in civil war. We will not do it. I will not endorse anything that says sounds like civil war. And I've heard that from good people, former military people. It's gonna come to blows. It's gonna come to civil war. If that happens, yeah, you may have your personal food and you may have your survival te technique, but I'm asking you to have compassion on the masses, on the rising generation that doesn't know how to grow their own food, that doesn't know how to work with their own hands, that doesn't have God on their side, doesn't know the Lord. Have compassion on the masses in America that have yet to hear the gospel and remember the covenant that God has with this country and believe for miracles because that's where we're at right now. We are at the place of miracles. They are on the verge. God introducing himself in a very public way to our country and the world. So the credit will all be his for what is going to come next. And it's still gonna be stormy after his big move, just like it was for the Israelites when they went through the Red Sea. They had to find food, you know? They had to figure out, you know, when to move, when not to move. You know, they had to relearn everything. They had to start all over, and that's where we're at. I posted something on Facebook a handful of days ago. Go they past this stop sign, then at the next one, take a slight left turn onto German Road. Okay, everybody knows where I'm at. That's the bottom line anyway. They all know where we're at, right? So the enemy, when we're on the radar, and I'm on the radar, I'm sure, they know where you're at. They know where you're going. They know what you're doing. They know what you're thinking. They know what you're eating. They know what car you drive. They know everything. They, know you, they don't know your thoughts, and they don't know your private conversations, unless your phone is being used as a microphone. But the only way they're going to use your phone as a microphone is if you're connected to a lot of power. Um, and even then, you know, I would say if you're going to have a very serious conversation with a very important person, eliminate the phones from your pockets. Go off away from your phone or a TV or anything that could be listening in. I mean, that's kind of obvious, but, you know, just just saying. Um but I do think you have to get comfortable with the idea that you're being surveilled and just recognize that. Use it as a Continue a way, onto Highway 65. Use that as a way to keep yourself straight. Because, I mean, I don't look at things on the internet that I shouldn't be. I don't write emails that uh, entice people to do something wrong. I mean, I'm pretty- In 4.5 miles, boring. turn left onto South Main Street. It's boring. You know, my life is filled with just doing God's will. It's just like Jesus. I mean, if you want to surveil Jesus, go ahead. You're just going to see that all he does is the will of the Father. I'm not saying I'm Jesus, but all of us should be aspiring to be like that. What does God want me to do today? What am I supposed to do today for God and the kingdom? And I'm going to say a final word before I, I don't like to get too long here. If you work for a pharmaceutical company, if you work for a government or for a corporation or a hospital system, and your conscience is screaming at you right now because you're starting to see the plot and the scheme of the enemy to destroy this country, 
kill people off because it's real. The food is bad. The drugs are bad. The hospitals are not giving the best uh, medicine, right? The universities are not telling the kids the truth about history. What we need right now is people who are in the system to come out. Think about this. If you're a nurse and, and you've been fired or you can't take it anymore and you leave, do we, do we know for sure that there's going to be a lot of sickness in the future? Yes. We do know that. If we know anything, we know that. So that's what I'm going to tell you. Be prepared to be brought back in and paid a lot of money if you're a nurse or a teacher or anybody that is outside wanting to get out. You'll be brought back in. God bless.